welcome to Gemstone Tarot, Tuesday 16th, I want to say April, Tuesday 16th of November. It's like I just, as soon as the date is going to come out of my mouth, or not come out of my mouth, I just, my brain goes rogue, it's like April, could be another date, could be another day, could be 2020, could be 2022, but it isn't. It's Tuesday the 16th of November, and I wanted to say it for again, 2021, Moon still in Aries. <sighs> nice. Okay. I don't know why I do <sighs> for Aries, but I can't help myself. And it is what it is. Let's have a couple of fun facts. Fun facts. This is good. A moose can dive up to 20 feet underwater in search of food. That gives me quite an interesting picture in my head. An octopus has three hearts. That doesn't surprise me. Octopuses or octopi I don't know. Um, are fascinating, aren't they? You, you get those ones, I don't know if they can all do it, where they change to look like their environment. Oh, love me an octopus. Um, mm, mm, mm. Russia has a greater surface area than Pluto. On Saturn and Jupiter, it rains diamonds. Humans share 50% of their DNA with bananas. I feel like I share 50% of my DNA with bananas because I'm eating a lot of bananas at the moment. Um, mm, in a room, and we could test this, couldn't we? We could, yeah, we don't want to be sharing our exact birthdays though on the internet, but yeah, we could test this. In a room of 23 people, there's a 50-50 chance that two of those people share a birthday. This is known as the birthday paradox. And hippopotamus milk is pink. I know, you heard it here first. I'm into that birthday paradox though. I love a paradox. Speaking of which, frying and bendy rude. We're using frying and bendy rude today. Might use some other stuff too, but we're going to start with this because I feel like it. Just feels like a... Brian and Wendy Freed kind of a day. Heart of the Fairy Oracle, or Heart of My Bottom Oracle, as we have come to know it. Okay. Coming up to that juicy eclipse, full moon, partial full moon lunar eclipse on the 19th, depending on where you are in Taurus which also kicks off the Taurus Scorpio eclipses which are going on for the next couple of years. Interesting energies. Woof. Okay. I'm going to do them in a bit of a... I seem to be doing a lot of cross shapes recently. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to show you the cards. I'm going to biddly bop. We're gonna billy bop. <laughs> Are we gonna billy bop? I was getting ready to billy bop. Okay. We're billy bopping. Billy bop, billy bop, billy bop. Right. As usual, we've got half the floor and none of the table. See, if you do it in a cross, it's really hard to see it, isn't it? But let's just boogaloo and do it over there. We see that kind of ruins the aesthetic doesn't it okay I'll kind of show them to you as well so that you can properly see them let's just hone in in the middle ones okay actually I wanted to hone in on the one at the top as well the big behind we have two kind of comedy cards here uh, we have Oh No, and we have The Big Behind. Now, what this is reminding me of, among other things, is, you know in Shakespeare, where you have like Hamlet and Othello, and you have all the kind of tragedies, and the tragedies have all the really deep wisdom in, or it seems like it in the beginning. Um, not that I am a Shakespeare scholar, because I am not at all. But just from what I've noticed about Shakespeare, you, the comedies seem like they're lighter, but actually 
when the boy was doing his exams and he did As You Like It, I think it was, and I did some of it with him, I noticed that the wisdom and even the kind of dark stuff is in the humour of Shakespeare as well, isn't it? In fact, it's kind of um, amplified because it's in a comedy setting. So that's what I'm getting for these two cards, which is the Oh No card and the Big Behind card. It feels like dark comedy. Okay, just what it feels like. And in the middle, we've got the green man. Let's just show you that one. I love that card. With the gift, and these are the more kind of what you might call in inverted commas, serious cards. And at the bottom, the captive man. Okay, let's flip back. I can hear someone unloading a van, by the way. I can hear it. Who knows if a drill or a saw or a pneumatic something is about to start, okay? So let us make haste. I've gone all Shakespearean. Post haste to the cards. <laughs> right, okay. You've got your two comedy cards and it feels like there is something that is both funny and, you know, poignant at the same time. This captive man card at the bottom, this is a card when you're dealing with somebody or something that involves you wanting to free somebody from their behaviour or free yourself from their behaviour. But at the same time, there is a desire to remain captive. It's a really interesting card, the captive man. It sometimes comes up when um, in a relationship context, when somebody says that they're restricted in some way, but they're kind of invested in the restrictions. That's the energy I get for this. The oh no and the big behind is almost the funniness of it, the humour of it, the incongruous nature of it, the whole kind of... That... Oh my, God, my words are terrible today. I'm trying to think what I mean to say. That whole, really? You know, you're like, really? Are they really saying this? Do they really expect me to believe this? And yet I do believe it a bit because I kind of want to, okay? Then in this middle, we got the green man. And I like this because it's masculine energy, but it is also kind of a mask. You know, these leaves that make up the beard. Either way, it's a natural mask, but it's still a mask. It's still a slight form of disguise. I do feel as we are sort of popping out of the other end, I don't know how to mind popping out of the other end, popping out of the other end of Scorpio season, I do feel that we are removing some of the leaves and some of the mask, and it might be our own. I feel like it's our own and other people's. And of course, other people are going through this process too, where they are removing their mask a bit. You know, the masks are slipping and it's no bad thing. Then we get the gift. Can we focus on that? Yes. The gift has, it's a woman and she's again wearing this mask. It's divine masculine energy, the mask. It's got antlers and it kind of slightly looks a bit like the green man and it combines masculine and feminine energies. And then in her hands, she's holding nothing, but it's in the shape of an egg. And it's to show the potential of the knowledge that you've gleaned and the stuff that you know. And I think what you've raked out of the muck of Scorpio season goes with you as this kind of honed egg of wisdom, okay? Might not feel like that, might feel more like you're carrying a turd in Sagittarius season. It's like, hmm, low. A steaming turd. I don't think, that probably was in Shakespeare actually, but he probably put it a lot better than that. The comedy of the steaming turd. We could write that, couldn't we? A comedy of errors. Oh, how can I pass this steaming turd along? Anyway, let's, yes, not stay in that because a lot of you are eating your breakfast and I know what a lot of you are having for breakfast. And there's some very elaborate porridge and I have stolen some of your ideas. Yes, I will report back forthwith, post haste. 
Oh, we've had this one a lot, haven't we? I'm gonna choose one that's crossing it as well. By the way, I don't do these in reversals with the protection message. What I do is I do the protection message when I feel like it, and I do the other message when I feel like that. Yeah, get this now. Okay. First off, we get whale spirit, trust in the great mystery, and this is diving deep because it's Scorpio season and that's what you do in Scorpio season. You don't mess about in the shallows, you dive deep. Then we have this, and I, uh, this is one of my favourite creatures actually, is the chameleon. Because, I don't know, there's something incredibly humorous to me about the chameleon, but of course it says act as if, but chameleons are the masters of the mask and the masters of disguise. And then finally, we get stag spirit. This crosses them. Take the lead. So if you look at these two, there is a certain similarity here. It's amazing, isn't it? Divine masculine energy take the lead and we will because we can i feel like we're going to move into um not only into the sagittarius but also into the scorpio taurus um eclipses that we've got coming up over the next two years much more more prepared and very much better well versed does better well versed my words are just shocking today i'm going to apologize for it but and yet it won't change right and we're going to have an angel answers card as well because they're pretty. Ooh. E.M. Forster, a room with a view to the eternal why there is a yes and a yes and a yes. And there it is. We get the yes card. Very nice. Leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.